Okay. So we've been learning about uh, parables in the Bible that Jesus uh, would tell. We know that parables are stories that have two meanings, right? A literal meaning, what, what it actually means, and then like a spiritual meaning, what Jesus was really trying to get to um, when he was telling these stories. So we're going to do another one today um, that's probably a very familiar one to you, uh, and that is the wise man and the foolish man. Okay, we actually sang that song just a little bit ago, so it's kind of perfect. Um, okay, what is a foundation? Does anyone know what a foundation is? Yes. Something that holds something or sustains something. Yes. You want to add to that, Luke? The base of a building. Okay. Have you ever tried to? That's all correct. Have you ever tried to, um, like when you when you do a puzzle, you ever tried to do a puzzle on like a cushion? It doesn't work very well, right? The puzzle pieces, they're, they're always moving around when you're trying to press them down, right? You need a nice, hard, flat surface to build your puzzle on, right? Um, I want you to turn to Matthew 7. We're starting with verse 24. Everyone then who hears these words of mine and does them will be like a wise man built his house on the rock, and the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat on that house, but it did not fall, because it had been founded on the rock. And everyone who hears these words of mine and does not do them will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand, and the rain fell, and the floods came, and the winds blew, and beat against that house, and it felt it fell and it great was the fall of it. So I want you to explain to me the story. Can someone tell me what happened to the first part of the story? To the house. What was what was uh, good about the wise man's house? Um, justice. He built the house on the rock. Okay. What's a rock? Is it a nice, sturdy, something that's hard, right? And if you were to stand on rock, and if you go to camp and stand on watch rock, right? It's a nice, sturdy rock. You could jump on it, right? Really, really hard, pound on it. Are you gonna nervous it's just gonna disappear into the, into the lake? No, right? It's a nice, solid rock. And in fact, a lot of the houses are built on those rocks on the mountain, right? In, in that pilgrim camp. It's very strong and sturdy. And Jesus is saying that he is that rock. When we have Jesus in our lives, uh, we're going to, you know, when things get hard, and we're talking about that in a little bit, uh, we need to rely on Jesus. He's going to keep us stable. He's going to, if we have him as our foundation, it's going to be, we're going to have a good, solid foundation. What happened in the second story? What happened in the second story to the foolish man? Anybody else? Yeah. It fell flat. It fell flat. Well, where did he build the house? On sand. On sand. Have you ever, has anyone been to the beach this summer? I haven't been to the beach yet. It would be nice to go. But what happens, or has anyone ever been to a beach? Who's, who's been to a beach before in their life? Okay, I hope everyone raised their hand. That would be good. Okay, so. When you're standing on the sand, you ever you ever go right by the you know right by when the waves crash, you ever sit your feet on the sand and then your sand your feet get like kind of squished down to the sand as the as the water right kind of like blocks down squishy and right. So is that a good place to build your house? Have you ever built built your sand castle and the wave came? What what happened? Yeah, it just destroyed it, right? Skin is squishy, it moves when you walk on it, so it's not a very good place. So um, the world is kind of like the sand, okay? We don't want to, when we build our lives on things of this world, and that's what we want, then, you know, it's not going to stand up when things get difficult, when life gets hard. Um, now, Jesus told this parable because people were listening to him talking. 
just like you're, I hope you're listening to me now, right? Jesus was talk, was telling this parable because people would listen to him when he talked, but guess what? They weren't doing what he said. So he would tell them to do something, and they weren't doing it. And Jesus wanted them to not just hear his words, but to do them, to practice them. Um, you know, when you were little, when you were still little, yeah. and your parents still tell you things that you need to do, right? But if you think about a baby, right? Um, you tell a baby, don't put that in your mouth. Is that because we want to be a mean to a baby? When we say, don't, don't put that in your mouth, or take it away from them, right? Why is that? Why do we not, why don't we want to do that? Yeah, listen. They don't get sick. Right, they don't get sick or choke on something, right? They don't know. They're just like, oh, look, it's pink and it's pretty, so, or it's blue, or it's sparkly, or it's shiny, so I'll just stick it in my mouth, right? They don't know. Um, same reason why your parents say don't cross the street, or you need to hold my hand when you cross the street. Or another big one is don't run in a parking lot, right? That's another one. Do, do your parents say these things because they're trying to make your life miserable? No. Right? Is it because they just want you to stay really, really close and never go anywhere? No, it's because they want you to be safe, right? Now, if, you know, there are children who listen to what their parents say, and they don't do it. They'll listen, they, yeah, 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 mom, yeah, yeah, okay, dad, and then they don't actually follow the rules, right? We're gonna play a little game. So I'm gonna tell you either a wise choice or a foolish choice, okay? If it's a wise choice, uh, you're gonna stand up. If it's a foolish choice, you're going to sit down. Okay, so let's see how good you guys are. I think that these are pretty easy, so. All right, so tell me, is this a wise or foolish choice? Wise, you stand up, or foolish, you sit down. Praying for someone. Good, we all got that. All right, hit someone who is really mean to you. I mean, they're really mean. Good, all right, so, so even if they're really mean, you should hit them, right? Okay. Giving someone something that they need, or giving giving something to someone that they need, right? What about um, saying thank you? Um, what about stealing something that you really, really wanted? How about just borrowing it without asking? Sorry. Uh, <laughs> How about uh, calling someone bad names? Okay. All right, so you guys get the point, right? There are some wise choices that you can make. What about um, talking while your teacher is teaching lessons in school? What about uh, doing the very best you can at your homework? There's some wise choices, right? How about um, watching TV even though you're supposed to be practicing your instrument? <laughs> How about staying up really late, past your bedtime, playing video games? Do my parents allow it? You're supposed to be in bed. <laughs> okay, so there are, in your life, right, there are wise choices that you can make, and there are some not very wise choices that we can make. Um, so, notice in this story, and I want you to notice something. When the rain fell down on these houses, the wise man's house and the foolish man's house, right? Did the storm just hit one house and not the other? Like the wise man was wise, I mean he did the right thing. Did his, did he get a storm at his house? Yes. 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 Okay. So it doesn't matter how good you are. Life is still going to be hard for some of you and for, for all of us, right? Some of us might have more, more of a hard time than other times, right? But just because you're really good and you read your Bible every day and you pray and you do all the right things and you make as many good choices as you can doesn't mean your life is going to be easy. doesn't mean that everything's going to go perfectly. 
That's not how it is, right? That's not how it works. The wise man also had a storm come to his house, okay? But there was a difference because he built his house differently, right? And that's what Jesus was trying to tell you, Nathan. Jesus was trying to say, we're, we're going to have some hard things that happen in our lives, storms, right, that we're going to encounter. And what's going to make all the difference is what your foundation is. So as a Christian, okay, when you, when you look at the spiritual side of the story that he was trying to tell you, right, because there's always two sides, right? Obviously, you want to build your house in the real sense. You want someone to build your house on a good foundation, right? But in the spiritual sense, what does that mean? What does it mean to build our house or our spiritual lives on a good foundation? Yeah. You build it on Jesus Christ, right? Jesus is that rock. And um, when we hear the words that Jesus says, now how can we hear the words that Jesus says? How do we know what to do? What are some ways that we can listen to the words of Jesus? Yeah. Reading, the Bible. Reading the Bible, right? Listening to your Sunday school teacher. What do you say? Praying. Um, listening, to obeying your parents when they tell you things. Um, right? Listening to when the pastor speaks, if you come on a Sunday night or at any point, right? And listening to those words. But then it's not just enough to listen to them, right? We need to obey them. We need to follow them. And that's kind of a hard thing to do. Because sometimes we don't feel like obeying, right? How many of you want to obey your parents every single time? Like every time you have no problem obeying your parents. That's, right? It's impossible. As much as you'd want to, right? You're not always wanting to obey your parents. Um, and so it's important that we try to think about making wise decisions. Um, I want to tell you one other thing. Okay, so when we build our lives on Jesus and we do things like reading our Bible and praying, we're going to gain wisdom. Jesus gives us wisdom. What does it mean to have wisdom? What does it mean to have wisdom? But what does it mean to be wise? <laughs> Making, decisions. Making good decisions. Yeah. Wisdom is doing what's right in God's eyes. That's the kind of wisdom we want, right? Uh, we get more wisdom when we learn more about Jesus. And having that wisdom will help us build a strong foundation. Um, and when the storms come into our lives, what kind of storms can come into your life. What are some challenges, right? We're not talking about real storms, like the hurricane that just came through. But what are some real storms that can happen in your life? What if you, all of a sudden, your parents said, we have to move far away away from your friends? Would that be hard to deal with? Yeah, that would be a storm. Um, what if you had to change schools halfway through school or at any point, right? You had to start all over again. That would be hard, right? If you had to go to a different church for whatever reason, right? You were moving, right? Um, what if you lost someone, someone in your family died, or even a, you know, a pet died? Would that be a challenge, right? How about coming to Sunday school with masks on? Right? Oh, Addie, do you think that there's going to be some challenges when you when you have to go back to school and you have to Definitely. wear a mask and you can't play tag in the backyard at school? Yeah. Do you think that's going to be a challenge? Yes. Yeah. Though these are all things that happen in our lives, and as you get older, there might be different kinds of challenges that happen to you. But it's important that you read your Bible and you're praying and you're listening and trying to obey God, because um, there's going to be difficult times even when you're trying to um, do the right thing. And so it's gonna make our lives safer and it's going to make our um, our foundation is gonna, is gonna still be there when we're doing the right thing. 
Um, so let's pray. Dear Jesus, we thank you so much, Lord Jesus, for telling us these stories in the Bible, Lord, these lessons that you want to teach us. And I pray, Lord Jesus, that you will help each and every one of us to learn how to build that foundation on you. Help us to make wise decisions, even when it's really difficult. Help us to remember to read our Bibles and to hide our words in your heart by memorizing them. And I pray, Lord Jesus, that you will help us to obey our parents, even when it's hard, help us to do the right thing, that you'll give us wisdom. And I pray, Lord Jesus, that you will um, be our rock and protect us in the storms of our life. In Jesus' name.